So I've been getting really lazy lately and it's time for me to start doing something different. It's time for me to go back into the moment and space of my life where I was the most focused and the most dedicated. And as I'm looking at you right now, I don't even feel that comfortable with myself because right now I'm overweight. I don't really, I'm not really supposed to look like this. In 2018, 2019, I was in probably the best shape of my life. I felt really great. I would work out nearly every day or at least four times a week. I would eat the right food. I would sleep at least six to eight hours. But in 2020, when pretty much the world collapsed, as some would say, and we were locked down and we couldn't go anywhere or do anything or whatever, there was a lot of things that were going wrong for me. And it was my relationship with my family that was straining. It was the relationship that I had at that time. It was my friendships. There were so many things that just weren't working the way that I thought they would or the way they should be working. And I got really lazy even then. And I stopped looking after myself. So I stopped caring about the food that I would be eating. I stopped caring about working out or having any sort of like routine so i wouldn't know what i'll be doing in the morning and in 2018 2019 i had a stick strict routine and and regimen is that the word i think that's the word regimen where i knew i would wake up at you know seven i would get ready i would go to costa and i would go on my laptop and connect with people try to get deals done try to build my brand presence and stuff like that i knew exactly what i was doing every single day but once that routine and once that schedule stopped i didn't really know what to do and sometimes an important life lesson that i've learned and i've learned a lot i guess but an important life lesson that i've learned is that creating a strict routine and schedule and it's not for everyone but for me it works really well because I'll be so focused and I'll know what I'll have to do. I know the next step and the next step and the next step. Some people are different. Some people need stuff that's free flowing and stuff like that. But for me, that's what I need to keep myself focused and to keep myself like in the game. And that's something that I'm going to start bringing back. And it's something that I used to say. I used to say something like, look, I start from zero every single day. So every single day I start from zero. So if I would wake up in 2019 and I know I need to make this X amount of money by the end of the month, I know every single day the only thing that I need to do and focus on is start from zero and get to 100 people that I'm reaching out to or get from zero and do um, exercise for 40, 40 minutes or something or get from zero and clean and eat clean. So I would never pat myself on the back for yesterday's accomplishments. Or if I do, it would have to be for like a minute and then I get back to work like I never even accomplished it. And that kept me going, that kept me focused, that kept me on the right path. It's when, it's not only laziness that destroyed me, but it's also not staying poised. I think not staying poised can ruin a person. If you can't stay grounded, humble, and really like just, again, level-headed, and you're always thinking about well i've made x amount of money this month right so i deserve to chill you know you don't want to celebrate too early right so you, you made x amount of money you closed these many clients you've done this you've done that fine but what about tomorrow what about the next day what about next week what about next month what about next year you, you see what i'm saying like if if you celebrate too early you're have nothing to celebrate in the future so that's what one thing that i learned the hard way because there were times even in 2020 where things were going so well for me and i was reaching a, a certain level and i was like okay cool 20,000 a month this and then when things crashed and i didn't have anyone signing on anymore i was like oh my god it it, it destroyed me but if i didn't celebrate and i was like okay 20,000, let's get to 30, let's get to 40, let's, let's keep going. Even if I had lost people, I would still be in a routine, I would still be doing something, I would still be going. But 
that that's that's the hardest lesson that I've learned. Just you know, not being humble, not being grounded, and I think that mentality of I start every day from zero has saved my life, and it's something that I'm going to get back into, and it's something that I want to give to you every day. I see people like my friends when I see them. Or, or like old friends, right? Because I don't speak to these people anymore. But when I would see my old friends and I would catch up to uh, to them, or I would catch up on what the what life is hap what what's happening in their life. Sorry, they would talk to me about back in the day. So they'll say, "Oh yeah, back in high school. Remember back in high school when I had my football thing going, or my music thing going, or my basketball thing going, or I wanted to be a doctor or whatever." And then you see them now, and they're not doing anything they're not they're not being the doctor they're not being the musician they're not being the footballer or whatever they wanted to do and they're still reminiscing on what's happening in the past and that's something that i used to do i used to talk about oh yeah back in the day remember when i would do that remember remember this but that was two years ago that was five years ago that was 10 years ago no one cares about that anymore the world is completely different from how it was 10 years ago than what, what it is now so if, if you keep thinking about the past, you're not going to go anywhere, bro. Sometimes thinking about the past, it's, it's, it's good because you'll know I've done this wrong and I should have done this differently, etc. Great. But if you keep reminiscing and thinking about the past, you can't move forward. You have to leave the past in the past. And that's something that I've, I've, that I've learned the hard way and something that I do need to keep reminding myself and something you need to remind yourself to you start from zero every single day that's something that you need to think to yourself you start from zero every single day it doesn't matter what happened last week what happened last month what happened yesterday the world is different there's many people that have died yesterday and many children that have been born the world is the world is different even from, from yesterday so i'm going to focus in the day i'm going to focus in the now sorry I'm going to focus on the present. That's the only thing that I'm, that I'm thinking about. I'm going to look forward. And I love making these videos because it, it, it's kind of journaling my way through life, right? So I'll get to see exactly my thought process and what I was thinking. And uh, that's what I encourage for, I guess, a lot of you guys to do, to start journaling your life and what's actually happening. Um, and, and, and this is mine, this is my journal today. You know, you start from zero every single day.